In this video, I'm going to talk about some ways that you can grab elements in your Ionic 2 applications using something called a view child, uh, but also how to use view children and content children. So at a basic level, the concept is pretty simple. The idea of a uh, view child and content child is to grab some element uh, similar to the way you would uh, with say document.getElementById uh, in JavaScript. Uh, but this is the more angular way to do it and there are advantages to doing it this way. And so I wrote a article recently uh, that talked about this concept and why you might want to use something like view child. And I also covered what the difference is between a view child and a content child and when you should use uh, and when you should use uh, each of those. Uh, but I think it's a bit of a, a fuzzy concept. I think it's a bit hard to get across and I'm not sure if I did it. Uh, perfectly in that article, uh, so I thought it might have been a good thing to do a video on uh, where I can talk about it a little bit. So in this video I'm just going to quickly show you how to grab something using ViewChild and then I'm going to get into discussing the difference between uh, view children and content children uh, because they sound very similar, uh, they do similar things, uh, but there is a very specific distinction between what one is when compared to the other. So I already have uh, an application up here I've generated one already and what we're going to do is just grab something with view child on our home page here. So I'm just going to open up the code for this and of course we have our, our home page which is generated by default and if I go into the template for that uh, we can see we just have a few things in here uh, which is going to be enough to grab something um, using view child. So let's say I want to get a reference to this ion content here. Now, there's two ways I could do that. I could uh, add a, a local uh, template variable here and use that to grab it, which is very similar to, say, adding an ID to an element and using get element by ID. So I could uh, call this uh, or anything I want. We'll just call it uh, my content. And then if I was to come into here, I can now grab that with ViewChild. So ViewChild is part of uh, the Angular library, so I have to import that. And then you can just set it up uh, above your constructor here as a member variable. Uh, so all I need to do is write view child and then supply the, the name of that um, template variable I created, which was my content. And then we just give uh, this a name. Uh, so we'll call it content area. And then I'll be able to access this throughout the class as um, this dot content area. Uh, so I'll just log that out and we'll just take a look at it. So let's jump into the browser here and we'll see what we get logged out. And you can see we now have a reference to that uh, content area. And now another way uh, that we can grab a reference to that is by supplying a view child with the, the class that we're trying to grab. So the content area, uh, that's an Ionic component and it's created with the content class. So if I was to jump into the, um, the Ionic uh, code itself, uh, let me just bring that up. Okay, so I've got the uh, Ionic code base here. If we go into source and then components, we'll be able to find the uh, content component. Uh, we'll just open up the TypeScript file. And you'll see, uh, if we just scroll down. Okay, so you'll see that uh, we have the component defined here we have a class of content and then the selector is ion content so that's the tag we're using to use uh, this this class here so if we want to grab any instances of those or in this case just one because we're using view child not view children I can supply content to this so if I import that class from uh, the ionic library and then I supply that here that's also going to return that content area for me. So we'll save that and check that it works. Okay, and so we still have that content area popping up. And now you can also do uh, something uh, like view children to, get, uh, to grab multiple instances of something. And let's say if we, a uh, common sort of situation is gonna to be to have a list. So I'll just create a little uh, fake list here. And then we might have a bunch of ion items. So I'll just duplicate that a few times. So we've got four iron items there and we might want to grab all of those and do something with them in here. 
So to do that, I can use something called view children. And basically just do the exact same thing. And so those are the class for ion items is just item. Uh, so we we'll use that and make sure we import it from the Ionic library as well. And we'll just call this items and we'll log it out here. Okay, so now you can see we have this query list that it returns, which is uh, which contains mul or the multiple items that we're trying to select. So if we look in the results array here, you'll see we have our four items. And so this query list is, is useful because it has things like this changes property here, which is an observable that we can listen to to see if, you know, are we getting more items being added to the page? Uh, there's some useful stuff you can do there. Uh, and you can even do uh, something a little bit cool where let's say if I just wanted to grab the, um, uh, the element ref for these particular items, I want to get a reference to the native element itself. I can even say, add some, uh, an extra property here and say I want to read uh, the element ref and we'll just have to make sure to import that from uh, the angular library as well so if I save that now and try again okay so now if we open up this uh, query list now we just have uh, the element refs instead of the entire uh, instead of all the information that was being uh, returned before so if we wanted to now I could go and grab uh, the um, the native element for those, which I could do before anyway. This is just a bit of a neater way to do it. So I don't really want to get too far into that sort of stuff. Um, I just want to illustrate that there are some, I guess, more powerful things you can do with view child and view children, and um, I guess illustrate that type of functionality you might be missing out on if you were to just say do something like get element by ID. So now I want to jump into, I guess, the main thing that I wanted to do in this video, and I'm just going to. Just change this back for now um, and that's compare this to content child and content children so let's say uh, I want to grab those same things and let's try and do it with uh, content child and content children instead so I'll change both of these and we'll see what happens okay so that's returning undefined now and in our query list here we have uh, zero results uh, so even though we do have some items in here, they're not showing up with content children. And so the difference between a view child and a content child is that, and I think the easiest way uh, I've found to talk about it is that a view child is used to grab anything that you uh, manually add to the template yourself. So all of this I can grab with view child because I just I put it there so I can grab it with view child. Uh, content children is used for content projection. Uh, so say when you create your own uh, custom component and you're uh, using content projection with ng content, uh, any content that gets added through that to the component uh, could be grabbed with content children. And I'm going to show you an example of this to illustrate that because I think just saying it uh, probably isn't that clear. So what I'm gonna do is create a, um, a new custom component now. So I'll just run Ionic G component and we'll call it, um, let's call it content child test. Okay, so we have our component that's popping in here now. We'll just add that to the app module. Um, just going to rename this to content child test instead of content child test component. And we'll jump in here and we'll import that. And then we just need to add it to the declarations array. Okay, so we should be able to use that component in the application now. Uh, so let's look at this component. Right now, there is not content projection set up. Uh, it just outputs the value of whatever text is. Uh, so we're going to change this and replace it with ng content. And now I'm not going, going to talk too much about what content projection is, how it works, because I have another video that discusses that in more detail. So I'll link to that 
If you're not familiar with what this is already, I'd recommend going to take a look at that. Uh, and if you're not interested in doing custom components just yet, then you probably don't need to worry about content children anyway. So um, view child will probably work in most circumstances for you. Okay, so now with that set up, anything, whenever, when we use this component, and I'm just gonna actually get rid of that because we don't need it anymore. So when we use this component, it has a selector of content child test. Anything we add inside of those tags that we add is going to be projected into the component uh, using content projection. So it will appear where these ng content tags are. So what I can do now is go into say here and we'll add another element here. We're going to use this component. So it's called content child test. So I can do content child test. And I'm just gonna get rid of these for now because we don't need those. And then we can add whatever we want inside of here. Uh, actually, I might bring that list back and shove that in. That'll be a good example. Okay, so now I have my ion list inside of the content child test. So this is going to be projected into this content child test component. So if I just save this for now and we'll jump into the browser again and see what we're working with. So I need to reserve that. Okay, so we still have our list there because it's being added through uh, the content projection. Uh, if I was to remove this content projection and take a look again, that list should disappear. And yeah, so now it's gone. All right, so we'll put that back. And now let's say we're in, um, first of all, let's, uh, well, you can see already actually, this query list, uh, actually, no, that's using content children right now. Let me just change this back to view child and view children. So I was just talking about how content children is used to grab things that are used in content projection. But we have this view child here now and that list is inside of this um, uh, content child test component. So we're using that for content projection now, but in home.ts we're still using view child and we can still grab the items and we can still grab the content. Uh, well, of course we can grab the content because that's outside of it anyway. Uh, but I guess the items are interesting because it's inside of that. It's being used for content projection, but we can still grab it with view child. And that's because as I said before, this is something that we're adding directly to the component itself. Even though it's inside of this thing that we're using content projection with, I've still added these directly to this component. So when I'm in the home component, when I'm trying to grab it from the home component, um, I just use view child. I can still use view child. But the difference is if I were to try and grab it from um, within the context of the component itself, all that's been added directly to this template is ng content. Uh, so that ion list is getting added here through content projection, but if I were to try and grab it with ViewChild, uh, it wouldn't work. Uh, so we'll try to do that. I'll uh, use view children, and we're also going to have to import an uh, item from Ionic Angular so that we can use that to grab it. Okay, so let's add that here. So we'll do view. Uh, view children, use item, and we'll set that up as items. And now these will be available after the uh, after view init uh, lifecycle hook runs. So if I was to log out uh, this dot items now, I will take a look at what happens. And I'm actually also going to get rid of these so that we don't get confused with all the console statements. Okay, so we still get a query list but it's empty. There's no uh, results there in the array. So it's not grabbing any items. And that makes sense because if we look at what we're grabbing, we're using view children to grab something from the template, but there's nothing here. But what is happening is that this content that we're adding here in a different component will be projected here. So that means that we can use content children to grab that. So all I have to do is uh, import content children and change that to content children 
and we'll try the same thing again and hopefully we can see those items that are being projected. Okay, so if we look at this now, we're still getting uh, zero uh, results there. Uh, it's not going to let us grab those iron items because they're inside of the uh, ion list there. Uh, if we, uh, we could get rid of the ion list or we could just grab the reference to the list uh, instead. Let me just check that the class name for that is actually list. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Yeah, so we should be able to just uh, import list here and we'll grab that instead. And we'll just log out uh, this.list. And we'll see if that works with content children there. Cool. So we have one result being returned there, which would be the single list that we have. And just to double check to illustrate that point again, that that is a content child and not a view child. Um, we use view children instead to try and grab it and we'll see if that works. And it doesn't, we don't get any results coming in now. So uh, that's the, the basic difference between uh, what a view child is and what a content child is. Uh, there's a lot more you can do with these, as I've mentioned briefly before with the, the read property, there's other properties you can use as well to do more complicated uh, operations, but uh, I mostly wanted to highlight the difference between what a view child and a content child was uh, because it's a concept that I struggled with for a long time. And I guess the bottom line is a view child is something you can grab uh, that you have added to a template directly and a content child is used to grab something that is projected uh, into a component. Okay, so I hope you enjoy this video. Hopefully it uh, clarified that concept a little bit for you and I'll see you in the next one.